elongate the boost ramp. Uh, it's pretty brisk out, so it's going to be awesome power weather, but uh, we got to see what the track's going to do, what the surface will do, because we're pretty much on bare concrete out here. So it's going to be an uh, interesting day, to say the least, but we're out here, we're going to try to go 200 today and make it happen. So first thing I'm going to do is come into the Ollie and we're going to open up the boost ramp. Um, on the boost by time, what I've had is it out to about 8 to 9 seconds. I'm going to probably go out 20 and just make it a linear graph and we'll see kind of what it does. Um, and then if it spins or whatever, we'll come back in and adjust some stuff. But uh, we're trying to be kind of middle of the ballpark, I guess, on where we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do to try to go 200. Uh, I mean, just kind of guess, maybe this first pass should have 180, 185 mile an hour in it, pretty easy. Uh, and then we'll just have to see what it gives us. on that pass it went 191 miles an hour so if we can get it to just ease out of there a little bit better uh, throw a little bit more up top and I make it back to the pits <laughs> we should uh, we should be able to do the 200 mile an hour pass we want this weekend hopefully so there's the official 191.16 so we're gonna uh, look over some data right now make some adjustments see if we can go click off a 200 mile an hour pass today here we go I set the start point right as you release the trans brake and right about here's where it started to spin. So I backed up a little bit. It looks like it's about four seconds into the pool. It's where it started to spin. You leave it on that same tune. You open it up. It'll show you. So right in this area is where it started to spin. So I need to smooth this out in that four second range. Actually prior to, so two to four second range. Smooth that out. Let it get a little more wheel speed. Then add it back in and see what we do. I'm also going to look at total time uh, that the pass was. So I kind of can adjust my... Uh, frames here to match what I'm trying to equal out at the backside so it's not trying to ramp in real hard or anything but I have it like every two seconds it's going to adjust um, but I might need to start smoothing this out and then adding it later to get it to continue out but otherwise for 191 mile an hour as you guys can see he was hardly in the throttle so full throttle to here then came out of it had to pedal it and then he was only like 50% throttle and then at the very end he was able to go full throttle again but uh, definitely not full throttle throughout the pass. So try to smooth this out so it's easier for him to drive. I also was looking at the top RPM over here at 7,200 RPM. So I want to make sure that we have enough RPM uh, so we don't hit the rev limiter to be able to go the 200. All right, here we go. Pass number two. I had a little up top, took a little away from the bottom. See if we can go mid 190s at least. Uh, maybe better. So getting ready to roll up there now. We'll see how it does.
right, so 194, he still spun early, so if we can still get that smoothed out. Uh, I added it up top, 194, so we got plenty we can add up top, so maybe we'll just do that, let him drive through it, and see if it'll go 200. Bad, we ended up going 194, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the data so we can see where it spun, try to adjust that again, and then he might just drive through uh, first gear, kind of like a Texas 2K, he'd just try to run up there to 60, and it would shift, and then he'd roll into it. Uh, it's that one-two shift gets the car to definitely stand up on the tire and start spinning it. And that's also where the boost is wanting to come in pretty hard. Here's what we're going to do. I pulled some boost here uh, around the shift point, so it's just going to let it out on the wastegate and ramp it back in. And then I also set up an advance table to enable on uh, timing offset versus boost time. And then it's going to enable on launch input, and it's off boost time. So then... Depending on where you're at in time, this is like kind of where it's spinning bad. So it's going to come over and pull three to four degrees of timing and then put it back in after the shift. So I'm pulling some boost and I'm pulling some timing around that first shift point and then it'll be back to the normal pass, which on that pass looked pretty good all the way throughout here. He was at full throttle, went 194. So if we can kind of smooth this whole area out where he was pedaling it for four seconds and we can gain a couple mile an hour through here and then I also added two pounds up here. Uh, maybe it'll clip off right, right, right there, 198 to 201 maybe. So let's uh, go up there and we'll see how it does. All right, so here we go, pass number four. Give it a little more boost up top. Pulled a little bit near that shift point. See if we can get it to go out. We're gonna make sure he's lined up off of the groove up here. And uh, see how close we can go to 200. This, this could be it. If it is, it's gonna be just right there. So hopefully we got enough in it. Got switched to the little one. We ran an entire pass, even though it was kind of cutting out and running our state in it. Ran an entire pass on the little pump. Went like 16 0 air to fuel uh, and like 27 and a half pounds of boost. So we jerked the plugs back out of it because we figured for sure we hurt something, uh, hurt the plugs or whatever, but it still fired and ran. Everything seemed all right. Um, so it doesn't look like anything too crazy major. Uh, must, everything looks pretty fat on the plug, so hopefully there was just enough fuel and it was just more, more or less like choking itself out than actually going real bad lean. So then I jerked the, uh, the cap off the plug wire, removing the plugs. So fix the plug wire, new plugs, and make sure the big pump's on and we'll go send it again and hopefully we'll see what it does this time. Well, unfortunately, they're calling it at 3 o'clock today. We just got plugs back in the car. We're pretty much ready to make a hit, but they're calling it at 3. Uh, big storm's rolling in over the hill, so we're trying to get everything thrown back in the trailer so we can get out of here. Hey, everyone. Today, it is a nice, brisk 50-degree day here in Colorado. Day 2 of the airstrip attack. We're getting the Buick ready to go and hopefully go 200 today. So that's the goal. That's been the goal since the start of the car. 194 yesterday, so we were close. But uh, we'll hopefully get another three to five passes in today uh, and keep turning up keep adjusting see what we need to do to try to make that happen all right here we go day number two first pass uh about 28 pounds of boost is what we get. we'll uh see how it does here Six. 196. 
creeping up on it. It left terrible, but. All right, so 196, not bad. Going to pull the data, get the car cooled off. We'll get it back up there and try to make another hit. Probably add another two up top and then try to smooth out whatever reason it was running rough down below. Because uh, if that would give us a mile an hour or two, then we're right, right there. So 196 miles an hour on 27.6 pounds of boost, 16 degrees timing. It's so I just got done putting the tune in Project 200 to hopefully go 200. 30 pounds of boost. Leaned it out just a hair, smoothed out the timing pull, so hopefully it takes off and doesn't uh, cough and hiccup and stuff on the hit, because if you can gain a little up top, just like a 60 foot, it, it helps you out dramatically up top. So if we can gain a mile an hour down here, the two extra pounds of boost gains us two up there, 199, 200. So we're gonna try it now and see what happens. 30 pounds of boost is enough to get it to go 200. We're up next, hope for the best here. Fingers crossed this is that's what we've been building that car for, tuning on in it, testing it, getting everything figured out. So hopefully we can uh, go to a right here. Go see what they get. 200! Woo! <laughs> what was it? 200.8. 200 200.8. Yes. <laughs> so exciting. Guide on. Oh my gosh. Got it. You're gonna be so excited. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. It looked like it was just on the cusp yeah. of it. It was spinning the tire. I was like, this is it. We're getting it. It went. It's 200, up. man. That's awesome. In a 1961 new stuff. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Everybody said, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I think we can do it. <laughs> Congratulations, so man. Are you, are you done for the day? Or Thank you? you. I don't know. We might go back and look at it. We might even logs. make another one just for a... Just for another heat. Back it up just yep. to make sure. Well, you got yep. your t-shirt. Turn awesome. on our club, man. Awesome. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So glad we got it. That's freaking awesome. Do you even know what you're in? I was like, no, because he's in a driver's suit. Because <laughs> yeah. some of the drivers were giving me thumbs up. Great job. And I'm like, the guy comes up, do you even know what you're in? No, no. <laughs> Two, 200, 200 or something like that. I was like, really? He goes, yeah, congratulations, yeah. you did it. I was like, yeah. As soon as he yelled it up there, everybody <laughs> was yelling. Yeah, we were all the way through there, that was, that was, so that was awesome. That was so cool. Great job, Nate. <laughs> that was awesome. That was killing me. Well, I guess we can pop the hood and see if we want to do more. There it is. 
So here's the data log. Had to come out, pedal a little bit, but right here at the very top, it ended up making 28 and a half pounds of boost. So thought I was gonna make right about 30. Made 28 and a half, 16 degrees of timing. Pretty safe air fuel. And uh, that's the, the fancy data log from 200 miles an hour right there. So from the start to the stop, let me see if I can do this here. Set tar start point. And from where he lifted, right about 16 seconds as you're in the throttle fork. So pretty crazy, definitely legging it out quite a bit longer here at the half miles than you do at the like, quarter or uh, some of the other events. All right, everyone, so I think that's, we're gonna call it there. We're not gonna make another pass. It went 200, it did what we asked it to do. Go home, check it out, make sure everything's good on the car, uh, which we believe it is, but we just wanna uh, go over everything, not, try not to get greedy today. But we actually think he's gonna try to drive it home. Uh, might as well put that stamp on it, finish it out, prove it's a street car, and drive it uh, from the track back to home. So we're gonna get some rolling shots for you guys of that. And then also, he's supposed to be able to get a 200 mile an hour t-shirt from the event. So we'll see. Uh, we're gonna go up there, talk to them, and see if that's what he gets for going 200, which would be pretty cool. Not a not a lot of people have those in the half mile, let alone doing that Skylark. Uh. Looks like 230. That's the next goal. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> 200 mile an hour club. <laughs> All for a t-shirt. Yep, that's it. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is a wrap from 2019 Pikes Peak Airstrip Tack. We ended up going 200, and now we're going to head home. So we're going to uh, put some street miles on this thing, prove that it's a street car, and can also go 200 and a half. When traffic shut down, I guess uh, you go checking out cars, it's <laughs> on the side of the road. It's pretty cool. <laughs> a guy ran up here to check it out. <laughs> 200 mile per hour to off-road side road car. Uh, so there's a massive wreck over there on the interstate. They just had flight for life and everything flying in. Right so the, the interstate's real shut down and you no know, sits having the car idle its ass off in traffic, so we're just gonna take the back road home. I thought this was paved, but apparently it's not. It, it eventually, I guess, gets paved because I've been on it for a ways up and know it gets paved. But uh, throw your trash out. But we're uh, we're cruising now. Take the take the scenic route. There it is. <laughs> Two hundred mile an hour. Drive it about an hour and a half home after you talk about traffic and all the other crap that we had to deal with, but uh, it made it. Ran it, drove it home, 200 mile an hour, street car. <laughs> Look at Lil coming, coming in hot. Hey, Come here. Made it. Oh yeah. Come here. Did it? That was probably about an hour and a half of traffic. Yeah, so. <laughs> Back roads, dirt roads, and awesome. everything in between, but uh, 200 mile an hour and drove it home. Yep, do 200, put some pump in it. <laughs> yeah, pump gas didn't change the tune or anything. You just pulled up, threw pump gas in it, and took off. So Carry on down the road. That's it. But it made it. <laughs> Alright everyone, so that is it. Project 200, went 200 a day, awesome day. Pikes Peak Airstrip attack, what a cool event. And then drove it home just to uh, kind of put that stamp on it and make sure that uh, built a street car. They can drive to the event, from the event. We trailered it there, but uh, it would do it. Drive it uh, at least from the event, go 200 and cruise it on home. So it's back here, gonna do a bunch of checks on everything, nut and bolt the car, change oil, just look over everything. Um, and then get ready for the next thing we're doing. So to stay up to date with the Buick, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button, and we'll see everyone next time.